Yeah, it's awesome being out here with the uh, men and women who uh, serve the country. It looks like one of them just made an awesome play, but uh, these are guys, men and women who, who served our country, and it's an honor to be out in the field, and we're having a lot of fun with these guys. And You know, there's no way that we can repay them for all that they've done for us and fighting for our freedom, and it's great to be out here with them. I guess I found out about this a couple days ago, and um, I've grown up playing sports my whole life, and I thought it was an awesome opportunity to come out and have fun. You know, these are the things that I enjoy. These are the things I enjoy doing these days. You know, when I first got out of the military, it was a it was a difficult transition, but um, I'm kind of on on a healthier road right now, and it's nice to just be able to come out and be a part of the community. You know. Yeah, we're really excited about this. It's uh, it's an honor to have these, um, these these warriors and these heroes out here on our field and and playing with our guys. Um, it's pretty cool to see our boys how they look at them, um, and how much respect they have for them. And it's something that's really important in our program. One of, you know, um, it's one of the things we talk about in our program, and and it's a value that my dad taught me is, is um, uh, honoring our country, respecting our flag, and revering our military. And um, this is a small way for us to to let them get out here and have some fun with us and show them how, how important they are to us and, and what it means to us, uh, everything that they've given. So we're excited about it. Um, our boys have been talking about it for a while. Um, and, and for us to be able to give a little bit back to not just our veterans, but to the Wounded Warrior Project, which I think is an unbelievable organization. Um, their values, the things they stand for, the things they do uh, is an amazing thing. And in a lot of ways, it also goes right in line with our with our Jesuit values. Um, so... Um, and then you put the under the Under Armour tie in there as well. It's a it's a perfect fit uh, for everything that um, for everything coming together. Oh, it's the best thing ever. I mean, uh, I've come out of my shell a thousand percent because of the Winter Warrior Project. They've helped me out a million things. Um, just, they're just so helpful, and you just meet other people, other veterans who have been through the same experiences, and you can just you know. Well, I used to play amateur baseball, and I did some softball. So coming out here is a lot of fun. It's the first time I've been able to do this since I've been home. I came back in uh, 09. So I had a few shoulder surgeries and stuff. So it's a lot of fun coming out here and playing ball. I really miss it. And the camaraderie with the guys that play here, it's just so much fun bringing us around the field and just having a good time with us and cheering us on. Uh, it's, it's helped me out a lot by um, gets me in touch with other warriors with the same conditions or something. That helps me talk to people. When I'm around my other friends, I'm still kind of enclosed, even though I've been home for so long. When I'm around these guys, it just makes it so much easier to be able to talk to people and just open up. And getting out with stuff like this and sports and everything it just helps you cope with being home and trying to get right back into the swing of things the way it used to be. Back! <laughs> Go! Mountain climbers! Mountain climbers! Mountain climbers! Side straddle hops! <laughs> Six inches! Hold Stop. it! Hold it at six inches! Hold it! <laughs> Hold it! Open up front! Get the 40 oh. foot 90 degree angle, right? Like yeah. your chair. Yeah. The Harley! Oh, oh, Still, it. Hold it. Hey. Still hold it! Still hold it! We gotta get you ready for game day, boys! <laughs> at dinner there. I had some nice barbecue and Eric gave a great speech about his experience in Iraq and what the Wounded Warrior Project has, has meant to him. It's it's nice to know that we have an impact on them and they do so much for us and it's just great to we can be able to give back to them and get to know some of them, learn their experiences and just a great feeling to know that, that we're helping them out. Obviously uh, Eric actually sat at my table. I had a chance to have dinner with him and uh, he's an awesome guy to start off with and to hear 
his story of you know everything that he went through in combat and then coming home and having such a traumatic experience with the PTSD and the depression and the uh, almost how he took his own life excuse me um, it was very moving and it uh, it made me think that you know what I do uh, here back home is uh, it really isn't anything I can compare to to what he uh, experienced when he got back to the States uh, when he got back from Iraq so it really transcends baseball it transcends um, everything that we do here at BC and that there's a whole nother world out there uh, that you know people are fighting for us and they're putting their lives on the line for us just so um, you know we can enjoy these freedoms that we have in this country Come <laughs> on.